The Afnan Library was formed from the um, books and papers of Mr. Baliuzi. He left them in his will with, with the statement that he would like them to form the core of a research library. But then what we've done is to just continue collecting materials roughly along the lines of what he himself had. Mr. Baliuzi's books incorporate things like Iranian culture and history, it moves on to philosophy, other world religions, Middle East, European history. And so we've grown the collection from there and the books that we accept now into the library reflect those original topics that he was interested in. In his professional life, he worked for the BBC as a, a producer of Persian language programs. And in the course of that, he accumulated a lot of books on the Middle East and on Iranian culture and uh, the Persian language and so on. So the beginning is his books and then the rest is the collection that we receive from other Baha'is around the world and other institutions. Um, we have uh, papers and documents, we have journals in uh, all different languages from all different communities around the world and we are continuing to expand that all the time. These are actually photocopies of manuscripts of the basic Baha'i scriptures. Th these were books from the Iranian Baha'i National Archives, uh, and of course uh, that that is no longer accessible. So these books are are the photocopies of that collection, both the rites, sacred scripture of the Baha'i faith, the writings of the founders of the Baha'i faith, and also here these are mainly manuscripts of histories of the Baha'i faith uh, in Iran, different local uh, histories. One of the things that Mr. Balyuzi received was a set of 100 volumes of manuscripts which were pulled together by the National Spiritual Assembly of Iran in the 1970s. In that collection are the writings of Baha'u'llah, the founder of the Baha'i Faith, that have never been published. Working with the research department, the Afnan Library has placed digitized typescripts of each of those volumes on the website. This is a, a really a big advance. And this means that people who can read Persian and Arabic but couldn't read 19th century handwriting are able to read those writings and those historical sources. It's a fabulous new resource that has just become available. There is so much that Baha'u'llah wrote, so many messages that he sent to individuals, as well as the books that he wrote that were sort of for all of mankind. For a long time, we didn't even know what was there because we just had all of these books and papers from Mr. Baduzi handed to us. And we've now more or less got to the stage where we know what we've got and that we've got a catalogue of all our books. The building itself is an old building. It's actually built in 1854, so it's only 10 years younger than the Baha'i Faith itself. It's, it was built initially as a, as a chapel and then about 15 years ago it was completely refurbished So one of the main areas that we're now concentrating on is um, the digitization of the material that we have. We've had a number of scholars come already to come and, and look at the collection and also do it remotely through our website. And they come and they'll look particularly through things like the journals and some of the older manuscripts that aren't accessible to, in other places in the world. And they'll come and look through the boxes of some of the earlier Baha'is from the UK Baha'i community. And then they go away and they write their paper and we collaborate in that way.
The existence of the Afnan Library, that, that this collection has been pulled together and saved and then placed in a place where it's available to people in person and then online. It's this tremendous service. It, it's just been this labor of love that they kept it together and then they made it available.